This is one of the greatest communities I've ever been associated with. They been calling since last night, bringing in food, asking what they can do to help. We just rebuild, just trust God. And, uh, we've got all the faith in the world. The Bible says faith will overcome all things. We're just gonna rebuild, start all over. Well, you know, we're just taking it one day at a time. Um, I know tomorrow's Christmas and everybody's got family and friends that they're worried about, but we're taking care of as many people as we possibly can and making sure that everybody has a, a happy Christmas. Very, don't know where the people are coming from, but you know, when you have a disaster like this, it seems like the community just comes together. And, um, you know, we were told uh, to uh, go ahead and start making contacts with uh, different contractors and, and getting quotes and finding out what it's going to take to start cleaning this, this mess up. And, and our insurance, uh, we're with State Farm and they're doing a magnificent job of taking care of us right now. So we're going to put it in their hands and in the hands of the Lord and we're going to be okay. We're going to bounce back. This church has been here since, since uh, 1910 and uh, we don't plan on stopping now. So this is just a setback. It's temporary and we'll come back bigger and better than ever. We've had a lot of uh, uh, community support here. Uh, some of our uh, friends from other churches have been around here. Uh, our former pastors come up here. So we've got all kinds of water and food out in our fellowship building. We've opened that up for uh, sort of a life center for everybody around here that needs something right now. So we're not just looking to help ourselves, but also everybody else that was hurt also. So that's kind of the hub for the community as far as uh, getting food and water to everybody that needs it. Just thanks for all of the support and everything that folks have done for us and just keep praying for us.